I don't care if you mess up, you fall, I don't care. Because a lot of this stuff you don't know. That's why you had a basketball cap, so you can learn how to do things the right way. So I don't care about you messing up. But the one thing I was most impressed by was you guys making an adjustment, listening, learning, learning on the fly. That's good. So get it in here. We're going to go hard work on three, okay? That's a good job, man. I was impressed by that. Just about basketball, me, I'll be done. I played six years in the NBA, played overseas and everything. Now, if I didn't know how to do nothing after basketball, I'll be done. I'll be done. So we're gonna talk about goal set. Goal set. Know what you want to do. Y'all at the age where you gotta know what you want to do in life. You gotta know what you want to do. Simple as that. Go home and write them down. Look at them every day before you go to bed. When you wake up, keep reminding yourself on what you want to do. And after we understand what we want to do, you gotta put that grind behind it. You got to work hard. For what this state has done for us and done for myself, you know, we want to give back. We want to give back and, and just let the kids know that, you know, it's, you can get where you want to get to, but you're going to have to listen and you're going to have to set goals. You're going to have to have a passion for what you do. I'm energized myself. I just listened to the speech and I'm ready to go back to work and uh, <laughs> uh, take care of some goals that I've set. As we know, in the urban areas, um, there's a lot of things negatively that the kids can get involved in, so we sure appreciate um, a star like Mateen and his people coming out to the inner city, helping our kids focus in, on what's good, um, keeping them healthy, and keeping them going in a positive direction. My kid comes home, he's a, in this camp, and he says to me, that I've never had so many people talk to me. <laughs> and he's been to many camps, but they're so hands-on that he will always remember that. And I think it helps him open up as a kid, but as a person as well. So he's not just learning basketball from a great player and a great staff, but he's learning life lessons. It's so important for young people to be involved and people like my team and Morris Peterson and Jeff Greer to come back and do these type of things for these kids because they need somebody to look up to, somebody that they can touch, somebody that's been through the same things that they've been. From a personal standpoint, uh, I've seen him make a lot of great moves, uh, but I think the greatest move that he has made in his career is the move to give back uh, to youth. Working with young people, uh, my own connection with the Boys and Girls Club, this was a real natural opportunity for us to, to try to reach out and, and help young people not only fall in love with the game, but develop some leadership skills and some life skills that are going to pay dividends in the long run for them. I know when I was a little kid, you know how much it meant for me to come back and, and to come to camps like this and see the you know different pros, Jeff Gray or Trent Tucker, Glenn Rice, and see those guys come back and play and uh, watch me give me pointers and how, how big that was. This basketball camp here means so much to me. The reason why is because it's something that we wanted to put on back when I was playing basketball, just to give back to our community, show the love, show the, the care to our kids and our community, get them to appreciate the game. And not only that, we draw them in with the basketball. Once we get them here, we talk to them about the game of life. I look at what, what Mateen, Antonio, and all the others, and uh, from Flint, Morris, and of course, Charlie, but there's so many guys from this place, but Mateen was the ringleader. And what he did for me, I mean, I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for those guys. And I'm smart enough to know that, smart enough to understand it. You always hear so much bad stuff about the Flint community, and just to be able to have good news and everyone show up and be happy, it's just really great. And this is where it starts. It's grassroots. It's touching one or two kids, making a difference in their lives and hopefully all of them walk out with something. But you know what, if you change 10 lives, Mateen, you made a difference. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate what you do. This is what Flint needs, and we're gonna bring this city back. You know, it's great to be here, you know, supporting Mo Cleese, you know, Mo Peter, all those guys, Tom Smith, guys from Flint, you know, who paved the way for me. You know, not, I'm from Saginaw, Michigan, but, you know, Saginaw and Flint, Saginaw and Flint connection is pretty much the same. We just started through showing a little love, you know, Spartan dogs, it's a family. It's more than a basketball. That's how we're going to do it. Very thankful to be a part of this event. Myers is a big sponsor, and 
Uh, I want to give them thanks for all that they do. You know, they've been a great support to this event. And I, I really hope the kids here in Lansing area can really take some of the things they learned from this camp and uh, apply it to their lives. Restart My Teens camp that was started 13 years ago by our mother, Frances Cleves. We want to thank the community for coming out and giving us such great support. That makes it wonderful for all the sponsors. Um, it's, it's a wonderful dedication in memory of my mother for all the hard work she did. Myers, boy, you came up big time for us in Flint. These kids really benefited from our efforts to come together and make these camps happen. I like the little competitions that we had, and I also like meeting all the really cool and really good basketball players here. It was fun, got me to learn basketball more, playing against big kids, and even though it was my first year playing. I loved it, and they worked on defense so much, and I thought that was great. One go! One pass! One go! One pass!